with us in studio. He's going to be at the Funny Bone orlando.funnybone.com for tickets. Now this morning, like I mean, because she's here, and I like oh. to bust her balls a little bit. I do, I was doing funnybone.orlando.com. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or, and that yeah, goes to nothing. Used to be the improv. Yeah, that goes to nothing. <laughs> 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 I mean, you guys know where yeah, it is. You absolutely know. Um, he's got two shows tonight, two shows tomorrow. Matt McCusker is here. Hey! How you doing, Matt? I gave him a hey, blast. what's up, guys? I How gave you doing? Him a blast. Thank you for the blast. So well, you know, I mean, <laughs> I should say, famous podcaster and yes. stand-up Matt McCusker and writer and writer yeah, and yeah. dad and dad and father yeah, yeah, yeah. and father yeah. and probably uh, best husband. I try. Top yeah, tier. I'm, I'm all right. <laughs> Top tier husband. I try my best. Yeah, man. yeah. I mean, I get tired of being the best husband in Orlando. I'm one of the greats. <laughs> Matt, I'm curious because I know Daniel was talking to you earlier about like, you know, we kind of went independent. Uh, we were start out in like morning radio, you know, mm -hmm. and started doing podcasting back in '09 at the fucking beginning of podcasting. Yeah, that was like everybody, the beginning. You know, was doing shit and like, and no one knew what downloads what numbers were actually good you know because the we actually got better numbers way back in the day <laughs> yeah, yeah because yeah. the numbers were so fucked up <laughs> yeah, yeah. that at one yeah, point true, true. this is a fact at one point i like telling you this because this is like a flex we hit number 11 comedy podcast nice in the world yeah, that's I, awesome. I, yeah, I, but well, it'll, it'll never happen again. Well, there was only 15 podcasts back then. Yeah, we're yeah, not. Yeah. We're not. Were you hosting through Libsyn back then? We were. Remember when they just like. Had you remember like, we started? I'd watch the stats every week and be like, "Oh my god, there's someone in Australia listening." And like, yeah, 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 yeah. we did the same shit. It was Australia too. Yeah. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. They, they, it was they the cut, same guy. Remember they cut the stats? They're like, "Oh, your stats are not really your stats." And they yes. give you the new stats. You're like, "What?" He knows. Yes. Yeah, he, he knows. knows. Great stat yeah, yeah, yeah. exodus. We went oh from a hundred. You know what the fucking stat exodus? <laughs> yeah, yeah, that yeah. almost killed me. I'm an anxiety guy. I'm on so many, so much medication and shit. And I, I was on your uh, your help thing uh, or the other thing. You have. Oh, the uh, for mental health. My psychologist. Yeah, yeah. I was I was like, "This is a smart guy." He can help me. He gets like yeah. a doctor. He can help my life. <laughs> and no, I was freaking out because we lost all of our downloads like in one day. And I told my oh, wife, they got cut in half. I was like, I'm gonna kill myself. I almost Dude, killed myself. I saw it. And I was I was sweating it too. I was like, what? Yeah, yeah, but you know what we did? We left the same numbers for our advertisers. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. That's, <laughs> a, that's a pro tip. That's a pro tip. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll give you that one. I stole your farting. Like, you know, you I have stolen your farting during, during Robin Hood ads. I've stolen that one. That's mine now. But you can have the one we stole. I thought they were going to drop us. Did you? Because you're not allowed to, you can't improvise on that Robin Hood ad, apparently. Let me tell you like, something. Let me tell you something. Yeah. We lost Manscaped. Did you? How'd you lose Manscaped? Because we no, I said, don't tell we said to. Ken, am I allowed to say this? Well, this we got, this, we got him back. We got him back. We got him back. We got him back. It's like, a, I'm like, take me back, baby. We <laughs> lost Manscaped because we said to Manscaped, nobody fucking listens to this mm. shit. Just say anything. <laughs> They're just throwing money at us, and they don't fucking care. <laughs> They're too big to care. We'll never lose this, ever. We're gods. We said something yeah. to that yeah. effect. But then we forgot our salesperson sends them the clip. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> so yeah. they just launched it. And yeah, she was like, like, oh, this is avant-garde. <laughs> <laughs> like, then she sent it out. <laughs> we thought that they only care if the shit works and they don't care what they, you know, but it turns out it's all, yeah. uh, you know. And I think we hurt our rep's feelings. So, he got real mad. Oh, he was like, yeah. He I was like, hey, sense. fuck you guys. So and then, but we got him but, back. So, Matt, I'm curious to like uh, when after you started the podcast, because when, when was the exact year you started? Uh, 2016. Okay. I think it was 2015. It was right during like the Trump election. Okay. Is when we started kind of like doing it, right? I guess regularly. And then was there like a moment or like a time period where you're like, oh shit. This thing is rocketed, you know, like we got a shit ton of listeners. Cause I'm sure it was like, mm -hmm. it was a s slow build, but then did you have like a, an insane amount of downloads and where all of a sudden you're like, oh, this, this could be a this business. Is like a thing. It was a slow build. I remember it was like, I remember the first time seeing like a couple hundred downloads and being like, whoa, and be like, nice. And then yeah, yeah. it went, and then we in introduced Patreon later. And then I remember there was a point early on where the Patreon hit a point because I always would work and do stand up, work and do stand up, and yeah. all these other things going on. And then I remember like sitting, I was on a beanbag in my house and like my little, I have like a little roof deck in the old place I was at. And I was oh. like on a beanbag being like, oh, well, I make enough money where I don't think I need to get a side job right now. And that was the big thing where I sat there like, nice. You, Just you, sat outside of <laughs> a beanbag like I've done yeah. it. <laughs> yeah, but not only done it, and this is something you and I were geeking out over a little yeah, bit, yeah. like do it independently is a that's a different animal man like yeah, yeah. i mean there it's one thing to have a job i i've had 
I had a radio job at one point. I hit it, and then I we were syndicated, and I was making the most at that time that I'd ever made. And I was mm-hmm. like, well, this is all I need to do. This is life. This is the way it goes. But I, and this is it. You know, yeah, this is yeah. different. It's, it's, it is, I think it's more fun, it, especially when you're doing, like, a creative thing. If you have someone in your head, like, don't do that. Like, I watched when Shane did SNL, and, dude, they, like, came backstage. when he. Like, that's, like, a... It's insane. And they would come back, and it's this big deal, and you're supposed to be, like, in this kind of zone, and there, there would be, like... 80 people will come in and be like, do this, look this way on this thing. And it's oh. just like, you can't even think. It's like, dude, just do your thing. <laughs> yeah, you yeah know, I saw it, a photo of you guys there, and I wondered if you were going to hang out. Like, I, I, I know that's a super personal question, but I was like, where do you where do you sit when you're doing that? Do you hang with him? Do you sit in the audience? No, like, it was like I, I chilled beforehand down in, like, the dressing room, and then during it, I just sit in the audience. And, nice. And just watch. Actually, when he there – was, there's was a dress rehearsal, so I watched a dress rehearsal, and the live, live one, I just sat and just chilled out in the dressing room. Yeah, that's so many people telling you, like, mm-hmm. that's – it's. Yeah, I watched it happen, and I'm like, dude, are you – like? Are you cool? And he was just like, "Oh, I don't listen. I'm not, I haven't listened." <laughs> I was like, "Did you get all that?" He goes, "No, not at all." <laughs> yeah, yeah, it, it, that's fantastic. You, well, you know what's interesting to me is that you you've never worked for like mainstream media, right? Like you never had mm. to have that quintessential entertainment that job you. where you're you true to... blood. <laughs> I'm not. I'm not a fucking true blood. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm not. But it's well, nice. That and I regret it every that. day, but I lie. Why is it's... that stolen valor? If people ask me, and I go, absolutely, I don't. I didn't do that. What is, I'm like, is to, to is it, have worked in radio and then? I uh, wish that I hadn't. Why? I don't know. I I. Well, it's a terrible place. I I could see. I t- I had a uh, I had an internship at a radio station when I was in high school. I got to do like it was like career achievement <laughs> really? stuff. Really? Yeah, it was like a like one of those like Tom and Delilah like soft rocky kind of like be. I don't know how to, what the. Liking it too. It was like a top forty, yeah, kind of soft rock. Adult thing. contemporary. Stuff. And I, I used to do the uh, when I got there, I thought it'd be funny. In Philly, there's Power ninety nine. It's like the black radio station. They do like baby mama check in. So I was yeah, doing. Yeah. I did it. I was supposed <laughs> yeah, to read the quiet weather. Quiet storm. Shout yeah, out. yeah. I was. Yeah. I did a uh, baby mama check in. I was supposed. They're like, okay, read the weather. I was a seventeen year old. Like, just read the weather on air. It's a big deal. And I was like, I'll give a shout out to my baby mama. And they were like, <laughs> they were so mad. Like, you can't do that. But they have to be quiet, man. Yeah. yeah they're, <laughs> Well, yeah. <laughs> we can't talk about baby mamas on this radio station. It was yeah, funny. Yeah. Well, you know what's funny is like, <laughs> spe- speaking of Patreon, Those like people don't exist on this station. <laughs> you, you know what the the internet did is it gave the power back to the people, right? So it's like the oh, people. Look at this you're, no, <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> you, you don't want hands across <laughs> America, everybody. <laughs> no, no. What I mean is that uh, your audience is like your what audience I mean can is directly we're more like than we are different. We're in this together, y'all. <laughs> <laughs> Your audience can directly support you. I mean, this, that's how we fucking made the leap from working for a yeah. giant corporation. And then all of a sudden, like, we, we did it before there was even Patreon or anything. We had to build our own through uh, yeah. Stripe, this company called Stripe that does, we like, our, We built monthly it independently. Every, mm-hmm. We built yeah. our thing and then had all the subscribers. And then Patreon came to us, like, a month later. And they're like, we built this thing. <laughs> we're <laughs> like, fuck. Like, we, 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 we spent $2,000 on this. The guy, the well, guy that good. made Patreon. I yeah. figured he's a famous guy. Yeah. I just saw, like. It's good you did it, though, because they don't have to pay all those fees. The somebody fees was just with, somebody heavy. famous was yeah. just with the Patreon guy. And they were, like, hanging out. And they're like, this is the Patreon guy. I was like, but, I know that guy. He met with us, like, years ago. Really? And then he was like, I built this thing. And I want you, can you, will you guys do it? And we're like, sorry, we already built it. We already built own. a thing, yeah. Yeah. But, and but, ours sucks. But what I mean, <laughs> and, and, and you know this, is like, you know, you, you work for a, a big media company. And then uh, they're always going to uh, have influence on what you do and shit. And then, like. And sometimes their influence is stupid. You're like, what the fuck? And it's based on like, oh, this is what you should do during this time. And this is what the stats say. You know, like, and it starts, you know, you you get into this fucking entertainment uh, void where uh, they're constantly giving you notes and shit to do. And then all of a sudden it strips away everything that people liked about you. And then essentially it's taken your fucking career because they've molded you into what the corporation wanted you. Yeah, anyway, you didn't have to do that. And then now it's like, oh, the people will, will support me no matter what, and all my listeners will support me through small increments of money, and then I, I'm, a, I'm free to do whatever I want, say whatever I want, and that's what the audience wants. Yeah. You know, it's, it's crazy because it's the more, more pure way to do things uh, yeah. than, it, you know, than no, the No, it's true. Way. Yeah, you don't have all that exactly, and it's like... There's a, it's tough to mix like heavy commercial concerns with like, if you want to discuss certain things, it's like, yeah, as soon as you're like, yeah, yeah, well, we actually, these guys are paying us. And I, I get it. Like if you have a sponsor, 
they're paying you money. You don't want to be like, yo, that sucks. I would never use this bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, we but didn't... some of them are good. You yeah, know, and it's yeah. like you know, whatever. I I get it. I don't get too amped up about like the business part, but yeah, it, it does. What when you try to make things for a massive audience, you're like, well, we have to make something appealing to everyone. It just it sucks. Or just appeals to like a giant general population of just like American Idol stuff, which is like some people like that, but it's like there's also you can find fifty thousand people who want something very specific, and yeah, you can just give that to them. And yeah, yeah, and and then it turns out it's like you just bullshitting and uh, talking about what you think is funny. That's what the people want. You know, it's, yeah. like, it's, it's kind of like so simple that it's like you start overthinking it. Me and Daniel do it all the time where you're like, I'm there. Man. You're, I you're overthink so, every show we yeah, do. It yeah. used to be so easy to do this. Yeah. And now how many years yeah. have we done this? How, now? how long have you guys done? Yeah, how long have you done Yeah, this you one? know, I don't know. I have well, a worse memory. Yeah. Isn't it like we've been doing podcasting like 16 years, but we, <laughs> yeah. we went on our own over a decade ago, like back in 2012. I left 13. the radio station in 12. And then you left in 13. And then, but it's, it's but interesting. But now because I, over, our, I can't sit and just do it. I got to be like, well, I got to give we, them the news. I got to give them something. No, that's good, though. But you also, reading helps a lot. If you read books now, nobody reads. So if you read a book, people are like, where are you getting this from? Stealing from books. Right? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> stealing from books. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Also, books are on the internet, so no one can find nah. where you got the information. No, <laughs> no you can steal yeah. any book, too. Even brand new books that just hey. came out, steal them. Uh, yeah. You know, it's, it's interesting because i heard you on rogan talk about your past and like selling drugs and sh and i know and i want to talk to you about like you, you have a bunch of yeah, siblings that was and a, stuff, i right? wanted to sit and uh, i was like this is, it was like such a good segment i wanted drugs <laughs> like i was like drugs no. but you read a, <laughs> you read a lot and uh mm -hmm. and so it seems like former drug dealer uh, you know, wouldn't turned his be... life around the books. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. So, did you already like even back then? Did you read a lot? Yeah, I always read. Okay. When I was little, I used to read constantly. But I know I, for me, it was just like a. I, I didn't like set out. Actually, I always I used to watch like the Bronx Town stuff and be like, I would watch it with my dad. I'm like, that rules. He's like, that's a bad life. You don't want to do stuff like that. But when I was little, I'm like, it seems so cool though. Yeah. And then what really happens? I didn't really set out to do that. It was just my friend. A lot of my friends got into pills. I'm sure you know down in Florida. Yeah. Oh my saw. god. Oh, yeah. Florida was the I'm mecca. Right. This was mecca. I'm yeah. wrangling with the addiction currently, man. Yeah. Well, I'm sorry, yeah. but the, that's why I'm yeah. tapping my foot like a madman. <laughs> <laughs> we were in radio during the pill epidemic, it was the and people best. would hand uh, people would hand, hand you, the, you pills. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I they bet. would hand you jugs of pills of dead people that were like, "Mom, I man, I know he's gonna say it's strange, but my cousin passed away. God bless him. Thank you for your service. He don't need." These. Yeah, it, grandmoms are rock stars during the pill <laughs> epidemic. Everyone's like, "Yo, my grandmom gets like fifty perks a month." <laughs> yeah. Like, yeah, yeah. At the Monster Jam, uh, that Monster Truck Show, the pill, pain pill. Oh. Oh. Did they shoot him out of cannons? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, that would be amazing. No one would leave. So they would be like, we have to leave. They, they gave me. Remember when they gave me the jug of. Um, Hydrocodone? Oh, no, yeah. yeah, yeah. I by got accident. A, uh, they gave me a, by accident, I got a jug of, of, of liquid hydrocodone. What? Yeah, yeah. a jumbo, like a bigger, oh, than, was... bigger than my novelty <laughs> megaphone. And I used it for like a year. I would just be like, I used it like a fine whiskey. I would go to my cabinet <laughs> and I'd pour it in the cap and I'd just take a little sip. Oh, him. shit. Dude, well, what happened was I was just kind of, you know, I would always, I grew up doing construction. My whole family does construction. So you're like, nice. you're working for like $60 a day when you're a teenager mm. and it's just, it's brutal. And then my friend was got into pills, and he was like, yo, I heard you getting your wisdom teeth out. Don't take the pain pills they give you. I'll buy them from you for $200. In my head, I was like, <laughs> deal. <laughs> I'll take Tylenol. I'll man up. Yeah. So I just, $200 is a lot of money. And my mom, no one knew. Any, medicine was just medicine. Nobody, yeah, I didn't yeah, even yeah. know it was like drugs. I was like, oh, this is drugs too? And I was like, okay. So I remember just like hiding them from my mom. And she didn't know what the way they were anyway. And I just gave my friend 20, 200 bucks, and I was like, I'm going to go get more of these gigs. I'll find these. <laughs> yeah. And they'll and give you more. They're like, still hurting more. Uh, dude, I, I had a sore throat one time. Like, do you want Percocets? And I remember being like, no. <laughs> that uh, was the thing. And now you now go for we... like something major here. Like I just had like injections in my hips because I'm old. And they're like, how's the pain? I was like, man, this is excruciating. They're like, we can give you two. <laughs> yeah. You know, and they put them in an envelope. They don't even yeah, give yeah. you a plastic uh, container. Yeah, millions died, by the way. <laughs> it's <was, laughs> so, so, so bad. <laughs> yeah, they, I truly yeah, really didn't know how bad they were. And then yeah, I watched a bunch of my friends and oh, stuff yeah. start to spin out. And I was yeah, like, yeah. oh, these are terrible. 
Yeah, yeah. And then they were like, well, we're just doing coke now. We're better. And I was like, oh, okay, cool. <laughs> <laughs> this stuff is kind of healthy, I guess. <laughs> so how was it growing up with uh, six siblings? It was uh, awesome. It was six. Uh, so there's six of us, and then there was my ten cousins across the street. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it was my, yeah, my dad's one of ten as well. That's wild, So man. they were like, they left, I guess it was like this little area outside of Philadelphia called Havertown, and then they bought this plot of land out it was like rural and it was now garnet valley now it's like all built up but we moved out there and it was there was nobody there so we got this big plot of land and my dad built a house and my his brother built a house so we just grew up on like essentially like a compound that's cool and there was we didn't we didn't see like there was no cops out there There, it was just like we used to have these huge bonfires and stuff and it was insane it was fun did you guys have your own language or like (laughs) (laughs) Like, well they would do they would burn like they would just chop stuff down and like they all did construction so they had like machines and stuff so we'd have these monster bonfires then the next day me and my cousins would be like yo the embers are still going so we would stoke it up and start like throwing gasoline and like just like exploding shit they we (laughs) literally would like if you put a beer bottle on a fire too the pressure builds and you throw rocks at it they'll finally just goes Boom! I didn't so know they, that. Write that down too, they, dude. We were throwing my ga- favorite gas. <laughs> we were throw like gas, and my our parents would like see the fires go, and they come up and be like we threw gasoline in here. <laughs> wasn't us. Yeah, it, it was you, so that fun. Sounds like a fun. It was, that's very Florida, man. Yeah, actually, that is very like that sounds like a lot. Like yeah. I mean, you had a lot of that. This guy had yeah. a barn behind his house. Yeah, we had that a barn. was his dad's, and he would just party in there with his friends, like wild animals. Mm. I didn't get any of that. You know, I had to wait like way later to get into that. But that's a very Florida. Yeah, we thing would. To we do. Would, when I was a kid, we would walk along the highway. Like I was when I was like twelve years old, thirteen years old. My mom would wake us up at nine o'clock and they'd get out, and then I'd like, go to my cousin's house. And, like we, I'd like eat cereal at his house. I'm, like nice, you have good cereal. And then we would walk along the highway and just go into like Dick's or whatever store, the Sports Authority, and just ride bikes. We would just bother our stores. <laughs> <laughs> and they'd be like, Can we have a job? And they'd be like, No. I'd be like, All right. There, there was a time <laughs> where. We would go and just bother stores. <laughs> <laughs> Mine was Guitar Center. A little more nerdier than you. So that's kind of tight. Uh, yeah. uh, you probably got laid more. I go in there, tippy tap on the drums, you know, play. No, a little, dude, I love instruments. I love playing music. Play man. a little guitar. Yeah. You musician? Yeah. Oh, I, play I, I play guitar, yeah. Oh, shit. Yeah, man. I guitar. was just on the Martin website <laughs> looking at dumb oh. new guitars. You nice. know, like, you got kids. You know what's. It does suck that our kids will never bother stores. Like, you know, yeah, like, we're dads too. <laughs> I got a Hell daughter. Yeah. He's got two sons. That's they, awesome. Like they're just going to hang out on the internet with their friends and then never like you Not know. My daughter. Some, my daughter's getting into weightlifting. <laughs> nice. She asked me every yeah, morning for a weight bench. Really? How yeah. old is she? She's eight. <laughs> She's going to get yoked. <laughs> I, I don't know. I don't you know. give her a weight. Put one in the front yard. Let her sit out there like a gangbanger <laughs> in LA. <laughs> Make a little muscle beach. No, I don't know where she got that. She's been asking for 12 pound. She wants 12 pound hand weights that's that she cool. saw that's... at her school. Yeah, I mean, I guess. Yeah, they do. I, I, that's my thing with my kids. Whatever they naturally are inclined to, I'm gonna be like, yeah. Yeah, just here. give them that. Yeah, 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 yeah for yeah. sure. And what uh, what got you into doing stand up? Like after all this, like, were any of your siblings or cousins in the entertainment industry? At no, all? no, none no. of them. Not not, not all. My, I have an uncle who builds movie sets. Okay. And I, oh. I actually he live. I live in Austin now, down near him, which is cool. But nice. the uh, but no, nobody was in there. Everyone was either it was either a nurse or a construction worker. Yeah, yeah. And yeah, pretty much for the most part. But no, I um. I just was like, I would watch it, and I was like, I'm gonna try this out, and I and I would always be something that just kind of kicked around the back of my head, and I'm like, yeah, I want to try that, I'm gonna try that, but my also at my dinner table, it was very much like, like everyone's made fun of each other. It was brutal. So like you would sit down to eat dinner, and my my brother would be like, yeah, you're getting kind of fat, and you'd have to be like, you're, you know, whatever. And then like my dad would just make fun of us. So you you had to be on at all times. So you awesome. ate dinner, and if the whole table turned on you, you'd have to just take it, take it, and then try to get someone to turn on someone else, and it was just nonstop. Yeah, it's interesting. Because, I just that, that was every night. Like, yeah, you couldn't man. escape it. Yeah, yeah, it was terrible. Training, oh, and, <laughs> time for training. It's all sharpened. And I think, and I, I wonder if you contemplated this too, because like as I'm thinking about it, I think that's what society wants is a real person that has real experiences that you know that grew up like not around the entertainment industry or whatever. Like didn't 
the you relatability know, I hate to use the word of a, groomed, of an but actual actual human. Yeah, yeah, but yeah, <laughs> yeah. No, yeah. yeah. And then that it's just like, like has pumped gas before. <laughs> yeah, weird yeah. things like that knows and, how to work an and, ATM. And then, yeah. and then can then make a sandwich. We we have a nation of other construction workers and people that work real jobs yeah. and shit. And then they listen to you and Shane talk, and they listen to your podcast, and they're like, "Oh, these guys talk like I do." Yes. Yeah. And then and then that and then it's funny because the rest of the like you know entertainment industry is trying to you know not only rebel against that because of like you can't say this you can't say these words or whatever but they're, they're like we want what these guys have and i'm sure but they like they can't do it because they're so fucking afraid of yeah. of every word they say you know you know well, dude I, I i grew up doing you know i was always on construction sites yeah. uh, i was saying on the way here i was i would be in a trash truck with my dad him and his brothers own a trash company so i would sit and listen to CB trash truck radio as like a 10 year old and be like, yo, what's that mean? He's like, oh, that's a bad word. You say about any of you don't say that. <laughs> I'm like, oh my God, I don't know. But you would just hear, I just would hear all this stuff. But then on construction sites, every, it's so diverse, all this diversity stuff, construction sites might be the most diverse workplaces ever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And everyone's just messing with each other. Oh, and yeah. oh yeah. It's so unfiltered and so terrible. <laughs> oh, yeah. But everyone's just fine and they get along and we it's fine. We have a great friend of the show that used to get bullied by the Mexicans on the side. Oh, dude. Tuttle. Tuttle. If they yeah, turn they, on you, yeah, you can't have like, Tuttle would fuck with the Mexicans and then they <laughs> locked him in the portalette and then I think they tied, didn't they tie yeah. uh, bungee cords around him? Yeah, it's like and, Oliver's and, Travels. And they yeah. <laughs> 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 they tied him down and he wakes up, he's in the fucking portalette. Help! All these guys are... four foot Mexicans tied him down. He never fucked with them again. And they're saying... They're used to pissing his basketball. That's what it was. He would go to play basketball and he'd fuck with them and they knew him so they'd piss at his basketball and they'd throw it back at him. so funny. He'd piss ball. Yeah, on a construction site, they're saying the worst shit... You could possibly imagine. People couldn't even fucking handle. Like, the shit they say on a construction site, the worst shit... And then you got all those dudes and then they want to listen to something and they have to fucking listen to, like, corporate radio or whatever. Right. Bucket, and they're like, well, fuck this. And then yeah. all of a sudden you come along and they're like, oh, well, this is how we talk. And then yeah. that, and then they like it. And, it. and it's fine, too. Like I, I went as I only I never worked in an office until I went to college and I had an office job. And I was like, I thought you could just talk about anything at work. because I was like, just doing construction. <laughs> so I'm like, last night I met this girl. And I, I this uh, my boss came in who was a girl and came in. She's like, I can hear everything you're saying. You can't talk like that. Here. And I'm like, what? I just got here. I'm telling this is what you do at work. Up, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm talking about like, finger. No, no, no. <laughs> I'm was, getting the I'm getting the cobwebs. Who's so. the owner's sister of the company? And she came in like, oh. what are you doing? I was yeah, like, okay. I'm telling him what I did last night. She's like, you can't talk about that here. And I'm like, <laughs> She's like, I always wear one, because I wore work clothes to an office, so I would wear a sweater every day, the same sweater. And then by the end of, like, two weeks, it would get so long on me. And she's like, you have to wash your clothes. And I'm like, these are my work clothes. They're supposed to be dirty. She's like, no, dude, you're in the office. And I'm like, oh, my bad. I don't know. But it is fun, though, because then it's like, you get, like, you know, especially, like, the thing I really take pride in now is doing, especially, like, I'm sure you guys know, you do podcasts, and you're like, dude, I'm just talking about nothing. Like this, what's the point of this? But then you're like, dude, the thing I really like is like these guys are at work, they're bored, it's miserable. I remember it. It still like sticks with me. That's feeling of being like trapped in an environment. Yeah, yeah. Like, I hate this. It sucks. So I do like to like now I'm just like I I'm just like a fungus that's like inner. I'm just like in people's brains now. That like I'm just it's like a weird symbiotic relationship. I'm like guys, keep please give me two dollars. I'll still like I'll just talk about stuff and research stuff. <laughs> we'll get through this together. Please for the love of God. I like that attitude. It's I mean, nice. Like, you were also talking about podcasts on the beginning of one show. You were talking about how and I love the. I loved the impression of podcasters on like a bad week or bad news bugs. You call it when you go, and they're like, they're, getting, they're like, oh, they hit the br- yeah. and they eat the yeah. fucking bad shit. And I was like, oh my god, I was telling you that this morning. I was like, that is the perfect like analogy for what ha- yeah it's like something horrible happens and then most podcasters are like oh yeah yes it's so good well, yes <laughs> uh, I, I want to talk to you about doing media uh because like it, doing it, it right and, now so, uh, krista's uh you know sitting next to me we we've uh, been in uh this you know business long enough we saw like everybody brings the comedian to every morning show and fucking the radio show and you do you promote your shows and stuff yeah. and then we saw like it kind of slowly slip away where certain comedians the that you know they'll just promote their own show well, through the their Sunday own fucking, show's uh, gone that's something i realized you know the sunday show's been oh, yeah, gone yeah, yeah, for yeah. a while now and then yeah. you know, like it, you, there, I started when I started, it was like everybody. When I started, everybody wore a suit and they did three <laughs> Sunday. <laughs> but it was kind of like that, you know. It was like the guys would come in and it would be the two two one. We'd make fun of it. We'd call it the standard, the two two one. Mm-hmm. And now yeah. it's the two two, or sometimes yeah. it's the. This week, and we have two yeah. shows on Sunday. Oh, there oh, you yeah, go. Yeah. It's a one-off. Oh, okay. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Or yeah. Or I usually do Thursday one, Thursday two two. 
But I'm trying to just start doing Friday. I like Friday, Saturday. Because I have little kids. I don't want to be away from them. So I yeah, want to do yeah, two yeah. days and get yeah, out. Yeah, man. Being away from the kids but has got to be sucks. terrible. But uh, going back to, like, media. So then you do these, like, morning TV and uh, hits and shit. And, like, uh, we, we joke around about how weird they are because it's a bizarre but short real. thing. The people are like, real. It's, it's not a conversation. The local news there. is the worst. That's the uh, one I'm like, yeah, I don't want to do. Cause it's just like, and you don't want to be mean because you want to like, I'm about to shake these guys. It's like, dude, you don't want to be a dick and just be like. Yeah, they're just trying to do their fucking <laughs> exactly. job. Exactly. Right. But it does, yeah, you get down there and like, I will, uh, I will watch yeah. that though. The guys that are like, I'm going to fuck these guys Oh, it's up. hilarious. I'll watch right, it, so but I don't want to be a part of it. Right. The whole time yeah. along the way, I'm like, I'm going to bring up Israel. God. <laughs> I'm like, why would I do this to this lady? I'm, gonna, I'm not going to put her... Yeah, they're trying to help What's me. What's your opinion? Yeah, you guys want to talk Funding about stuff? genocide, you. Yeah, and I don't know any... I don't even know anything about it. And I'm like, what are you doing? Like, like I'm some moral authority to be like, I actually... I have know what's going on over there. I don't know. It's terrible. But yeah, I, I'll like catch it and I'll get there. And it's just some nice person. And I'm like... And then I just sit there and I'm like... Uh, yes, my show is what you can expect of them. Oh, I don't know. They're very funny. And it's just like, <laughs> what am I doing? <laughs> yeah, because you're like, is this doing anything? But like, I try I not to take a negative attitude. It's okay. easy to be like, take yeah. this like superior, like, I don't even do that. Now I just try to have fun. I go there. I'm like, yeah, I'll come down, you know, come down here and have fun. And like, yeah, yeah. You don't have to be so self-serious or so like, what I do is this. Or, yeah, I don't know, I don't know. It's all stupid. I don't know. I just, I'm like, just have yeah, fun. Yeah, exactly. Because, you know, at the end of the day, too, they're trying to sell tickets to your show. So, uh, exactly. You know, so it's but are they I think, true. But I, I think, though, what happened was that, remember the Louis show? Yeah, yeah. He did that segment on that show about morning radio, and he would do that thing. I don't know if you've seen it. It's very funny. It's just yeah. he's in a room. The guy's like, hey, blah, 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 blah. <laughs> yeah. all right. And it, it is, it's hilarious, but I think that gave comedians a thing for a while where they were like, yeah, I hate morning radio too. And it was like, so maybe some people are hesitant. Or it is one of those things where like, if you see ticket sales, you're like, I don't have to do that. I think it made yeah, yeah. people right. conscious, though, too. I think it yeah, made yeah. like... I, can, I know exactly what you're talking about, and I think when I watched it as like a former radio person, when I saw that, I was like, oh, shit, it's I mean, really it was accurate. Funny. It was so spot and on. it's very it accurate. You know, like, it's like, yeah. But the, not, I've done a couple radio things recently, and it's a lot of also people who are doing radio also do podcasts, so they kind of understand how to, like, yeah, it's, yeah, not it's, that, it's not such a tight kind of, like, we have 12 seconds to talk about this. Here's this thing. It's like, like I, I, yeah, they just, you just kind of. Shoot the breeze. The last couple ones I did, I was like, "Oh, this is fun. nice." Yeah, they loosened up a lot because they realized that this is the fucking reality of this environment oh, now, yeah. where it's like people can listen to whatever they want. Uh, it used to be, well, it's like once you see yeah. HBO, once yeah. you see HBO, a show on HBO, it's like I can't watch a TNT series now. It's like, you know, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> I can't do it. It's like you can't do it. You, do you think uh, you could ever? Wasn't that the Nashville Network? Was TNT the Nashville oh, Network? Oh, no, TNN. Remember TNN, <laughs> the Nashville Network? Sorry, I do this a lot. Crazy. What happened to the Nashville Network? <laughs> TNN. They had a, the Nashville Network had a show where um, Roseanne's former husband, Tom Arnold. Tom Arnold. Oh, okay. He would host and he, and he would host my big fat redneck wedding on the, no, on, the yeah, on the yeah. Nashville Network. <laughs> what? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Sorry, that's, uh, we can move on. No, that's yeah. hilarious. That's, I, <laughs> I, I haven't thought about TNN. I don't know why, yeah, TNN. I'm trying to think if I actually remember. I'm like, it I think a, I remember it. They, I think for a minute they wanted the whole channel to be like John Reap and all Dude, the I think all I the more that. like southerny guys. Do, Sorry, do, 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 as, I'm, I'm weird. As your popularity grows, <laughs> uh, do you think you could ever, uh, or do you think you ruined yourself to ever work for someone mm. again? Because now you're you're working for yourself. You do what you want, um, but there, you know, if someone gave you the opportunity, like, hey, you know, work for us, and or, or like work for this network, and we'll buy yeah. your show. But now we. Have or the somewhat guys. control over you. you, you think I don't know, right? honestly. I for me, I I don't. I used to be the whole thing that would really fuel me was again that feeling of being at a job and being just like beyond miserable, being like trapped and being like this is I I'm being underutilized. I don't know what I'm doing. This yeah, is, yeah. I'm dying. Yeah, yeah, and, yeah, yeah. Uh, I know that feeling. So I used to, I used to worry about that a lot, but now I think about it too. With like especially with kids and stuff, I'm like. I had to go work for so I don't it, it wouldn't I don't think it'd be the end but again I haven't so I don't know I haven't like now I always like build things up that I'm not doing as being like that would be pretty cool then I experience the reality of it I'm like this sucks but I don't know I, I think I'd be okay but in the meantime I'd prefer not to but if I had to I wouldn't be like yeah, yeah I always yeah. go back to it's a job yeah so yeah. it's like I could be doing especially doing like demolition and stuff it's like dude I could be like breaking down drop ceilings and having like pigeon shit fall down my face oh yeah yeah so yeah. I'm like 
oh, I can't talk. Like, it, it's kind of gets to the point where I have to always keep myself in check and be like, dude, it's not the end of the world. But I'd prefer not to do it if I could, you know, because I don't, if I get like, you can't talk about this, it'll just be in my head the whole time. And I'll be like, uh, uh, well, yeah. uh, and it'll just be like, dude, Ruined say it, it, say it, dude, don't, you can't do this. Yeah, it becomes like the, the tell, tell hard or something, you know, like, yeah. yeah, it's like, it's like you can't ignore it. And then you, yeah, we got to a point where we were the guys in radio that, Went through the sensitivity training. Oh, yeah. You know, got in trouble. Yeah. Oh, that's uh, yeah. What, what? I got deposed one time. You know, see, it's yeah. As soon like, as I hit any I of say, that, I'd spaz. So, yeah, say, to answer your question, no, I can't do yeah, it. And that's <laughs> I what I mean by I like, 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 when you were oh, talking, you were giving that. me some love. You were like, oh, don't, why don't dismiss the radio thing? And I'm like, well, it's because, like, yeah. the memories that I do have there, whereas I, I am glad that I'm. Like, I think I'm better at, like, researching For you sure. and carrying a conversation and helping him out. And, and I know how to plug all this shit in and, and do it. The problem is, like, that the business of it is the absolute worst thing. Yeah. It's like, but playing I'm, the tunes would be nice. Being able to, if I get in the middle of my podcast, be like, oh, here's a song I have. <laughs> that'd be that'd be I think about that all the time. I'm like, dude, oh, I would love that. Dude, you could do that. Dude. You just need a, you just need to buy the license. Yeah, I want to. It's very expensive. <laughs> yeah, it's but, I mean, it's like $55,000, but I mean, you can do it. <laughs> but For a radio. one time thing? <laughs> well, if you, yeah, I think it's yearly. And you got to, like, and I could just start you could spinning do it. the hits. Absolutely. You could do that. Absolutely. Yeah, but they can only hear it within a few. They're gonna ask for your numbers. A small radius, and they're gonna they're gonna they're gonna want your numbers, and then they're gonna charge you be based on your numbers. No. Yeah. But, oh yeah. But also, it's funny. The reason why we left radio was because we were doing a podcast and we were cursing, and they freaked out, and they're like, "You can't curse. Like that shit could uh, affect McDonald's or what are you know." <laughs> <laughs> that seriously, that was, that was a yeah, reality. That, and, and, I mean, was, I you know, exact quote. I mean, you've seen this shit happen. It's like, like, yeah. oh, what? Are, what if a sponsor hears you say this word and then it could affect our yeah. bottom line, so you they, can't. They do actually any, uh, used an something. example. They were like, <laughs> like "What the they, fuck are you They were like, about? "McDonald's could hear you and Tom say cunt." <laughs> and then, <laughs> okay, and yeah. then seriously, it was like they were like, "They and they're they're not going to know the difference between you guys in Dan's house saying cunt, yeah, and whether you're at the station saying." It. And I was like, yeah. "Well, you were. You this were like, of course they yeah, would know because on drop. the radio you don't say that." <laughs> and somebody drops their cheeseburger, and now it's like, <laughs> yeah. yeah, but it was back when like crazy. the FCC, like that shit doesn't exist anymore, but it's used to like FCC was like attacking Howard this Stern. This is sounding like, very manscaping <laughs> right now. <laughs> 15 years, you know, 20 years ago when like uh, Howard, you know, like ra morning radio would do some sexual yeah. bit and then everybody freaked out. You never yeah. did any radio, Stupid. right? No, no I, I, Other than that one internship I did, that was it. Oh, yeah, my yeah. God. Thank God. Yeah, I, I want to ask you about, uh, you, you put your dad hat on with, with this one because uh, I, I think about this a lot. And uh, so you uh, obviously w went through a struggle, right? And mm. then now you came out on the other side, you're mm. successful, right? And uh, so uh, I like, I want my sons to be successful, but it seems like going through that struggle uh, is pivotal to kind of making you well-rounded and yeah. also making you appreciate like what you do have because you've seen the other side of it. Yeah. And but, he's but, obsessed but, with grit for his yeah, yeah. But <laughs> yeah, but, you gotta get him grit. But, yeah, but, yeah, but yeah. the problem is, as you know, like you do would go if you go through the struggle. He wants his sons to want to wait. Like them. you, like, <laughs> like, <laughs> I mean, like here's a, you, you don't want uh, your kids to be fucking robbed at gunpoint at any time. You know what I'm saying? Sure, exactly. yeah, but yeah, yeah. that experience made Dude, you who you are today. You know, my my wife was always talking about that with our daughters. She's like, I want my daughters to be street smart. I'm like, you want them to negotiate with pimps? Like, what are you talking about? <laughs> Like, I don't want my daughters to be street smart. Like, yeah, you, yeah, yeah, yeah. But what I do. I get what you're saying, though. It's like, but honestly, yeah, it's just for me that what my dad did that I like now is like, ever since I was even like little, I'm like, Dad, can I have some money to go to the movie theater? He'd be like, What did you do for me? And I'm like, He's like, You got to work. He's like, yeah, I would like hold buckets for him of nails while he would like build a fence. He'd be like, All right, here's five bucks I'd, for like a week of work. I'd be like, Sweet. <laughs> nice. One hundred percent. I have that in common. Yeah, yeah right. you My have dad was to. You have a tip to. For tat guy. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's got to be like, what yeah. did you do for me? Why would I give you money? You didn't do anything. Yeah, and so like, he'd always he drill that into my head. He's like, you have to work. So I think that's the best thing. And to make age? him get jobs. I was like nine. Oh, so nice. he'd be like, well, I'm not giving nice. you money to go to the movie theater. He's like, what are you dating? Like, <laughs> <laughs> now, that, it, it wasn't a different time though. Like, yeah. my son's nine, and they'll ask me for like, they like, we want this, and I'm like, well, you got to earn. I'll try to do All the same right. shit, and they'll be like, mm, I don't want it anymore. <laughs> yeah, <that is> true. <laughs> they, can pull, like, can, they can pull that on you. They can pull like, that. I'm enough. not interested in anything in the yeah, world. Yeah, <laughs> that's tough. Yeah. yeah, turn off my brain. The jobs is that I just make them work and get jobs and be like, they had. They have. There has to be something that if they were, you had to find what they love and threaten. 
to destroy it. Yeah. You have to be like, I like that. You have to be like, like a mob that. boss with kids now. You have to find what they love and be like, I'm gonna just pinpoint it in and be like, mm, I'm taking that, and they'll they'll find their thing and they'll freak. We've been. Dude, I've been leveraging the Disney princesses against my daughter since so we took them to Disney World yesterday. Oh, right. Well, okay. Anything they would do, I was like, I'm going to tell Elsa that you did this. Oh. And she'd be like, no, 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 no. Yeah, and that shit looks like the real Elsa. Did you go through the thing? Yes, dude. It yeah. looks like the I real. I met them, dude. Yeah, yeah. it's insane. It's it is the real Elsa. I'm not even going to say it looks like it. That's it's, the real fucking Elsa. And they're so in character. If you say anything, they're like, they never they, go out. Right away, and you're like, yeah, that's You know why they never go out? Because just like you're talking about parenting, I think if they get out of character, you're fucking fired uh, on you're the spot in front of the Bro. kids yeah i think you're out i think they take come. your silver wig off and get the fuck out one of the villains come one of like the villains comes and just destroys Ooh, you and i like yeah, cruella she <laughs> yeah, pulls off yeah. i like your parenting style threats and then also bribe you've tried bribery yes. <laughs> yes. that's not my whole parenting yeah. is threats and bribery it is you're like a medieval lord <laughs> <laughs> you're like oh they don't want to do this i'll give you this yeah, so yeah. They'll, they'll do yeah. it and, uh, and if they works. get too ru- uh, unruly it's you pour oil on them yeah you tarred feather them <laughs> right over the wall but it is tough because yeah because they how old are your kids again uh, eight and nine. Yeah, that, yeah see, that's a different age. Yeah, I'm one and four. Yeah, so it's yeah, like, yeah. but yeah, it gets tough, man, because it's like you don't want them to be upset, but you have to train yourself to like watch them go through like those quick five stages of grief and just still hold fast and be like, and wait, and then they come back and you're like, all right, thank God, I almost caved. Like, <laughs> I have a bad one right now that I'm yeah. going through right now. Yeah. I, have an, I have a fight with my daughter because you familiar with the pirate game, Shut the Box, where you roll the dice and you shut the I've never played that, no. It's a fun little game, and we got a couple of them from our buddy Scott York this week. But my daughter, I watched her while I was making my coffee two days ago. I mm. w- literally watched her take the dice, move them to the number she needed. Then she thought, then she like waited, like kind of peeking out of her, like while I'm stirring, I'm like peeking, I'm, I'm stirring up my cream. <laughs> and then I see her flip it down. She goes, I shut the box. I did it. And I go, no, you didn't. You cheated. Oh. And, and now it's become this thing where she's like, you don't believe me. And I don't because I saw it. And then she says, you think I'm a liar. And I'm like, yeah, because you are. <laughs> and I don't know how to, fi- I don't have to fix it. Yeah. I don't know how to fix this one. Yeah, you just have to, that, that's one. Well, here's the thing. I was reading a book recently, and they talked about how. Ah, oh, the books again. The God books help, man. It. The books right, help. Right, the, right. the guy was talking about how kids do need some sort of, like, firm wall to kind of run into in terms of, like, just not being like, you know what? Everybody, li-. it's like, no, you were lying. That's wrong. And they'll be pissed, maybe for years. But that's an like, She's really, not letting go. That's an important part of kind of identity uh, formation of like there has to be a wall you hit against that's like pure disapproval, pure like no, I don't care what you say about that, no. And then over the years, that helps them form like a really serious parts of their identity. So stick with what I'm doing. Yeah. All oh right. man, hold fast. It's yeah, your principles. You can't I did lie. hold fast. I made her cry twice. You because, are the truth. You're the truth here, right now. Here's what happened. I rolled and I shut the box. And I was like, yeah, first person to shut the box in the family. Yeah. And she's like, I shut the box yesterday. I was like, no, you lied when you shut the box. And now she started crying again. Yeah. <laughs> she also, that's her just wanted to be you as well too, though. That's her looking up to you. She's like, I shut the box too. But, All right, yeah, yeah, but books, write down books. Hold is, fast and okay. let them just, there needs to be a thing, because my parents were great at that, I'll give that to them. They were like, I hated them, dude. When I was younger, I fucking hated my parents. See, yeah, they I, were know, just, I want my sons to love me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know. I want he them wants them to be the hero. Oh, yeah. He's got two I know. sons. <laughs> Gotta and be he's the bad trapped guy. In this, no! he's, cla- he's trapped in this gladiator thing where, like, every time he talks about his sons doing something, you're going to get mad at me. But it, he'll be like, hey, my boys are running this race. He, he And then he'll say, in the same breath, wouldn't it be great if I ran with them? I'm like, no, dog, you got to let them do the thing. <laughs> you can't be there every step of the way. You can't come out of the woods and, like, flex and be like, oh, I ran it with you. Well, yeah, yeah you have daughters. I mean, so you, I feel yeah. like, have a more of uh, fatherly influence like my uh, wife's uh, like uh, a good mom oh, to she's her a son great mom. like i just want to be my son's friend <laughs> 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 i just want to do oxycontin with my boy <laughs> <laughs> come on i'm a floridian it's tough that's gotta be yeah because i don't understand the bo- like i have girls and it's a lot more easier to like I'll, I'll i would baby them big time but now i'm starting to just be like no too right. bad get over it to an extent you don't have to be like brutal you can be like give them their space and still enter all that nice stuff in there but they do need, a, from an understanding, like a firm wall, and it's just got to be, you know, it's just got to be the deal. I feel like you're changing our life by coming in today. <laughs> well, you feel like we're going to get our families right. See, we are. And the we next time to. I see you, well, dude, think about I'll be kids. Like, I've changed. There's a lot of kids now that are there, the, the mental health stuff, oh, like anxiety's oh, yeah, yeah. through the roof. Because it's the it, phones, it's the screens. And yeah. it's just a free for all, too. There's no, like, I knew exactly where I stood. And obviously, you know, it's like, I'm, I'm going to do something similar, but I'll have way wider parameters in my house. It won't be like, you know, like, 
it, like, like my parents found porn, they'd be like, that's disgusting, you're evil. And it's like, uh, you could probably have a more nuanced conversation now. <laughs> it's like, right, but I right. appreciate the fact that they weren't like, yeah, I got porn too, let's watch it together. That would have been crazy. That's not good. Oh, that would have been horrible. <laughs> yeah. Oh, my God. The, uh, I'm still fucked up for seeing my mom's bush in the shower. And I still well, remember that's it. That's all I can think yeah, I still dude. remember it's it. It's crazy. You know why I remember it? Because I remember the water falling out of it because it was big. You remember every drop. Yeah. I, yeah, it was yeah. in slow motion. It was like that movie with Brad Pitt movie. With the, it, what's that movie yeah, you yeah. like? And your dad. The Brad Pitt movie where it was crazy and it was swirls in the universe. And I was like, what the fuck is this, Brad Pitt? You, you see your stupid movie. Da, your dad's big mega dog. <laughs> yeah. Fat as fuck. Yeah, you're like, how's holy they, shit. How's the thing get with hey, you know, fucking ham? You know what? I talked, I talked all this shit. I'm Looks like, like I'm a that... roll of hamburger from Winn Dixie. <laughs> <I'm not, laughs> because I was, I, I have it burned in my goddamn memory my dad's mega dog and my mom's yeah. bush. Yeah. I'm like, I don't want that. Fuck me up. And then I said, I, because yeah. I've been doing this that's shit longer. Shaved, that's why he bicks his bush down. This guy bicks like, it down <laughs> and baby oils his shit because he's so fucked up from it. No, but we, like, I remember saying on the podcast, like, I'm never going to let my son see my dick so, just so it's not yeah. burned into the memory. And then now they've seen my dick. They they have to see it. Yeah, yeah. And, they, and then. Well, the, that's part of the power. I feel like if you have sons, you have to show your dick to be like. Yeah, I'm still the fucking big gorilla. You do. Now. They're also you the, they're the only humans in the world that believe in their heart that I have a mega dick. Yeah, <laughs> you, know, the, you know, I, you know, know, I, know, I, I felt the urge right, that's to awesome. fist bump you right now. <laughs> like they, if you ask my son, he hates personal contact. I felt I, the need to fist bump <laughs> him right now. No one else would ever say that, and then we'll never ever think that again. But my sons, at this point in time, dude, my brother was at a re we were at a restaurant, and his kid had been saying like, "Dad's dick is so big. Dad's got a big, <laughs> Dad's got a big penis," and then my my brother was like laughing <laughs> my, or my brother was telling the story or something and then his wife was like well i mean he's a foyer and i was like how dare you like, <laughs> let him live in this moment believe it let yeah, let him. flowers man yeah, i yeah. did it was up. she had a, it's the best it's like you know it's the best time it's like the best compliment ever <laughs> yeah it is oh uh, i'm curious to because your your daughters are young now mm -hmm. but uh, because now it's come into my brain where i never thought this way even when my sons were young i was like fuck it i'm gonna explain to my sons like if they ever you know because now with youtube and shit it's easy to find our content right yeah and then oh, i'm like, like we said some, we do we said some fucked up yeah. shit uh, uh you know our Thousands podcast of shows. you know like it said some horrible jokes yeah. and stuff and uh and now i'm like shit my sons are watching youtube like yeah. they know what i do like they haven't started watching me yet uh, my daughter has they eventually no will and my daughter has no clue of what i need and yeah, i'll explain mine, it. yeah mine are so young they don't but i think about that a lot like they're gonna find it one day i'm just gonna tell them just be like look man you know this is what i did like you know you paid for your college shut up <laughs> it's like yeah there's gonna be some stuff but i i think they will i'm hoping they'll see that and then be i'll be like look man cautionary tale you don't like we didn't know we didn't grow up with the internet so it's just like oh i'll go i'll say anything on here and you do it and then you go like years go by and you're like oh god like right <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah yeah but i would just i don't know i would just tell them like yeah it's what i did you know it's like it's I, I, now i'm older and different and it's like if, if you want to fixate on it you can go ahead or you can just go live your own life and you know just see that and be like don't do that or yeah. if you want to go crazy online and be a total pod goblin it's my new word. It's pod guy. Oh, <laughs> People are just nasty on like, I, I heard Jesus was a pedophile. There's a new yeah. guy. What? There's a guy now on a podcast tour trying to claim through the historical record that Jesus was a pedophile. And it's like, bro, what are you doing? That's going to break like, a lot of people's hearts. I don't think he's gaining a lot of traction. But it's like, <laughs> Dude, you know, he's doing shock jock. It's like, shock yeah, stuff. Yeah, it's, yeah. That's all. It's like, oh, I'm, I'm you know, I, and that's all. It, and I, everyone does it. It's like you, you see it. You're like, you're trying to grow your numbers and you're just, and also too, you're just, you don't know what to talk about. So you're like, it feels boring. It feels boring. Zap and you just zap the conversation with some crazy stuff. Yeah, yeah. So I just I bank on the fact that they'll be smarter than me and they'll be able to see it from kind of a bird's eye view and be like, oh, okay, yeah, this, our dad's just a dumbass. Right? <laughs> and the it does seem they navigate it better, right? Like naturally, yeah, they know. They'll yeah, know. like my daughter naturally navigates YouTube and everything, and then she'll just like it's fine. You know, it's just like yeah. not a thing. Me. Absolutely addicted to it. <laughs> my screen time, I don't know this. It's it just it's only gone up. It's never gone Wait, up. Would you I've, track your hours? It does. My phone does. What do you every, get, what do you what are you rocking in at? A day? Yeah. Fourteen hours. What? Yeah. On the phone. That's the worst one I've had. That's my that's my that's my bad. I did a fourteen. I get, dude. I'm I'm telling you, it's it's. So I don't addictive. even know how I did that. I, I, but here's the thing: if you use navigation, they count that too, which is kind of nice. Uh, so. yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, that's BS. But I was on vacation. I was like in the woods, and we were hanging out. Oh, and you're I was flying just, like, and stuff. Yeah. I was just slamming yeah. beers and just looking, reading. You're Reddit. probably play, if you're playing tunes as well. That that'll yeah. that'll hold it up. But no, dude, that 
it's so addicting. I'm like, I, it's totally, the cell phones, the, other, the last, we were given the most, the most addictive stuff. I hate it. Just as like, here you go, here you go. And the phones now are like, I'll catch myself like going to take a pee. And I'm like, let me check my phone real quick. And while I'm peeing, and I'm like, what am I doing? But well, I'll be like, I can't or help or it. Standing <laughs> stand 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 or sitting? Stand stand. I do both. I do I mean, both. But I dump? find myself go in. Yeah. I, I found myself go in, go to pull my pants down to stand, grab my phone and sit. <laughs> Whoa! Because I yeah. because it's like a it's like I know a, what you're talking about. It's like muscle memory. Taking a dump on the phone, especially with kids, where you go to your wife like oh, I got to take a dump. It's and ruined. You're me. just walking up the steps like oh, I'm getting a 30 minute phone break. Yeah, <laughs> yes. I, I can't do that anymore. I had to go to the doctor. I got some problems. Oh, you they, can't yeah, sit you for can't that sit. long. I got <laughs> yeah. I had a nasty hemorrhoid yeah, as well one time, and like I was like I'm never sitting now. I'm right back to my own. Stuff. No, I saw <laughs> I had a big one. So did yeah. I. I had like a butt blocker. Yeah, the ones that come yes, out, it feels dude. like a like yes. a marble in your ass. Bro, <laughs> it is crazy. When it finally pops, you're like, thank God. I never had a pop. <laughs> Mine went back in my body. Oh. My body reabsorbs it. It's a vein that <laughs> yeah. sticks out of your my body. My body reabsorbs the vein right back into my asshole. But then but but if watch. I get stressed yeah, it'll pop and, I out. and I reach back there, I can feel it. And it's like, I'm coming for you, motherfucker. Yeah, dude. Those things are terrifying. Yeah, I, I had one. I can feel him back there. I had to like, and I was like in school at the time, so I would have popped it any day. So I had to like have gauze. Between my ass. Oh, you were a younger man. I was. I was. I went back for my masters. Way like oh, I was nice. old. I was. In I my went 30s. back too. Did you, it was, when I was. I, I went back 19 years later to f just finish my bachelor's at yep. UCF because how just, fun is college when you're older? It's like, I crushed dude, it. I, yeah, it's crazy. I I was the uh, straight A's. Every paper I I, pub, I got one pub pub uh, one paper published. Awesome. That I wrote about um, the punk band uh, Stiff Little Fingers. Nice. And like comparing it to. Like uh, Ireland at the time or something. I don't know. Whatever. Mm -hmm. It was a yeah, yeah. bullshit. But the the teacher was like, "Can I publish this?" That's I was like, awesome. Yeah, yeah, yeah but, but then you're the old man in class. And no, then all as digital. There's, there's it was there's all digital, and I used a young oh, man's avatar. Cool. I used a young man's. No, I, <laughs> <laughs> I wish I had. This is a hot young boy with his shirt <laughs> yeah. off. Dude, it was cool. Being old in class was so fun. It was. I was in. A, it was called a career changers program. So I'd be in there with 23 year olds. Then there'd be me, and then there's people older than myself. And it was so much fun to just sit there and talk to 23-year-olds and be like, that's how you think. Things <laughs> like, oh, okay. It was, I couldn't help myself. I got, I, they tried to kick me out. Uh, the Really? Why? Well, it was because of all the SNL Shane stuff happened. And then they, they didn't know I even was a comedian or did a podcast. And then the, when his stuff, when he got fired from SNL, that hit national news. I was still cool. I had like two more You're a friend left. of his, huh? And then one of them put it together and they saw one of the articles and they were like, wait a sec, because I would get mentioned in them in like a byline. And they were like, I know, and they started doing a little Google, and they were like, oh, and then they started looking at my podcast, and this was social works, this was like, in this you want to talk about, like, all the training, sensitivity training, this is oh the God. core oh of God. that field currently, and oh it's actually, God. I think it's a grave misstep, because it's like, you're gonna, you're telling me you're gonna deal with homeless people, and talk to them, and be like, um, actually, as like a, a BIPOC Native American, it's like, <laughs> 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 the guy just like stole a milk hey! crate, hey! hey! like, yeah! a <laughs> I need a, I want a yeah, he's, he's in a house built out of like milk crates and tarps and you're gonna be like well oh, actually the struggle of indigenous females and they're like oh what yeah. so i always was like this is crazy you guys are pumping this into everybody but they found out and they already had uh, they were at odds with me because i was just in class discussions they'd be like how dare you <laughs> they, yeah, they'd attack you because they you knew just you disagreed were... with them they would spaz well that's what you're supposed anything. to do in the class <laughs> all right exactly yeah. but they they didn't want in the teachers the same thing the teachers would be like can you believe and the students would be like oh i know and then as soon as you're like well that does... they had a study one time where they were saying we've studied and they say when like the more you kind of get into and build your ethnic identity the better it is mental health wise and they're talking about like people like black people latinos like uh minorities and i was like okay i was like so is that for every? This is a science. So you're, this is supposed to be universally replicable. So I'm like, should white? Should I be pumped that I'm white? Because I feel like that would be kind of weird for me to be like white. I love this so much. You're right. <laughs> right. The lady I spazzed. Do that. <laughs> <laughs> the lady spazzed. But that's she what our show is about. When you leave. No, no, she spazzed on me, and she was like, "That's not what this is about." I'm talking about like your ethnicity. I'm like, it's weird to be like you're. I, you're gonna get out of your thing by being like, I'm so black. This is all. I'm like, it's just weird advice. There's better routes to build self-esteem. I was like, you surely see if everybody starts doing this, it would take us to kind of maybe a weird, you know, tribalistic place. We want to try to transcend. Dude, they were just like, 
how dare you? But and it, just like stuff like that, that would spaz. Yeah, it, I I went to college in the early two thousands, which is still oh, about yeah. beer and titties. Limp, <laughs> Limp Bizkit brand stuff. <laughs> yeah, 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 Back when Eminem was, made a, yeah, yeah, was, he was a global <laughs> sensation. He's like everyone's gay, and I was like, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. and then I missed the whole uh, social justice warrior part uh, of college. But uh, last question, uh, Matt, I'm curious to like because you are able to seemingly make your own schedule and you got two young kids like how do you because we've been struggling with that recently where it's like mm -hmm. okay we don't have to work for anybody we could do we can make our own schedule how much do we want to work what, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. How much do you want to spend time with your family? Sometimes we what look do you at the bank do? account and I just want to go buy crazy shit. <laughs> <laughs> you know, like I look at it and I know what we have. And it's not a ton, yeah, but yeah. I but think gonna, we can get you two money saved. supercharged jet skis. I'll tell you that. <laughs> I think I think 60% of the population lives paycheck to paycheck. So if you have any money saved, you're crushing it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, which yeah, is yeah, crazy. Yeah. I know, I know. It but is. yeah, to balance it out, I uh, so what, I, what I've been doing lately is like the key for me is I have to get up early. If I get up at like 5.30 a.m., yeah. I can get so much stuff done. And then that time I'll still exercise. So what I try to do is like, I get up, we get the kids ready, I make breakfast, I do all that. Uh, the older kid goes to like a, it's like a preschool, pre-K. The oh. younger kid's at home. So then I'll like get everyone ready in the morning and then I'll go off at like 9.30 and work from like, I'll like do writing and do a bunch of stuff from like 9 till 3 or 4, depending on the day. Sometimes like 9 to 2. So I just get done what I can then I just come right back. But it was a great, serious pressure for me to like get, I'm not getting enough stuff done. And I had to just come to peace with it. Like, all right, these are not the years I'm going to be the most productive. And I'm just going to have to let myself off the hook and just, like, try to get done what I can. But I'm not going to. I would. I was, like, miserable to be around. I'd be like, I'm not getting enough stuff done. I'd, like, complain to my wife and yeah. be like, you're not helping me <laughs> yeah, yeah, write yeah. my thing. Yeah, <laughs> the no, I know, thing yeah. that I'm going to not do in two months. <laughs> yeah, yeah. A lot yeah. of not done things. <laughs> yes. but, but then you start looking in the future. And you're like, man, my future self is going to be mad at me if I miss any time with my kids at this exactly. age. So it's like you start I never think of my future self. Yeah, yeah. Because <laughs> I think that's gay. <laughs> <laughs> you're like, I just like, technically, I'm, that's another dude. Right. <laughs> yeah, I, I, yeah, I, yeah, like, I'm like, no. Right. I'm like, he'll be fine. He's a good, he's fine. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's doing fine. No, well, but no, yeah, it's like it's just a balancing act because you, yeah, you also yeah. can't just like one thousand percent be like I'm just gonna sit here and capture every moment. It's like you can't. You just have to just like I just try to what I the thing that helps me the most is like I have I have an apartment that I use as an office. Okay. So I go to an apartment and I work and I'm totally undistracted. And as soon as I leave, we wanted I leave, to do that. It's so awesome, dude. We and wanted it, want this. There's one right over here. What? But then dude. we started fantasizing about how we would cheat on our wives. <laughs> That's the problem. <laughs> like we'd have all these girls. We have them diddy diddler parties. And, <laughs> Everyone and like, I tell oh that God. I work in an apartment, they're like, everyone's kind of like smash bad. It's like, yeah! oh, yeah, smash bad. It's like no, I, I just go there and I write. But yeah, it's one of those things. Even you get in there and you're like. Hmm. I'm going to beat off in here. Like, <laughs> <laughs> There's no I'm video gonna, games? I'm going to do anything. something in here. I have nothing. It's a desk. Yeah. And my bring and I leave my, what I do oh, is fuck I'm on the desk. I've never done that. <laughs> I've never done that. <laughs> I'm gonna jerk off on this desk. <laughs> I clear my desk and jerk off on it. No, I, <laughs> you're like I can put a trampoline in here, like big. <laughs> <laughs> but no, I want a massive keyboard. I, I leave when I'm done. I leave my laptop there and I just go home and I try to not think about work stuff as much as I can. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I'll be like my I'll be like giving my kids a bath, like reading YouTube comments, like. Oh, then I'll like catch myself doing that. I'm like, I put my phone down. Yeah, I'm like, dude, I do it. Stop. Oh, and just be here. You know, and I don't get too worried about being it. present. No, is yeah. hard. I can't. It's tough. Yeah, I can't. I'm not. Well, yeah. you know what? It, it, like they say that, but most oh, of the time my sons gonna... aren't doing shit. <laughs> <laughs> like my wife has, you know, like they're not doing anything special. They're just sitting there fucking uh, doing phone. nothing. <laughs> Fuck you. So I'm sitting there. We're all sitting on the couch, and I'm like, well, this. I'm gonna look at my phone, and then Chris is like, you're always looking at your phone. <laughs> but I'm like, well, then no one's doing shit. Tell them so you guys are bored. That's and that's the weird part. We have to be. You have to turn in one of those weird dads. Like everybody up right now. We're gonna go run laps around the house. Right? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> everybody's miserable. Because it's all up to you. You're supposed to create the whole experience, and then you go, oh crap, this is on me. You're like, all right, I gotta let's do something. I'm like, hey guys, we're not watching TV tonight. And they're like, what? I'm like, what are we gonna do? And I'm like, yeah, we're gonna color. And they're like, what? And then you start. It's kind of fun though. I was on a no TV thing for a while. I, I'm like back and forth on it. But it is nice every now and again to be like, no TV for a while. You just color and read. And, like, a fun thing to do with kids, too, is, like, you sit down with them. Like, we're going to make up a story and then record a movie on our iPhone. Where you can, like, write a story with them and then just record little scenes on your iPhone. We All haven't right. successfully. We can't. The script's still in production right now. Me and my four are still working on a script. Yeah, yeah. We're, like, three pages flesh in. Flesh that out. You know, we gotta get flesh it going. Out, get it going. Proof it up. That's, you, can, you can do a lot of fun stuff. But it's, I'm the same way. I just default to, like. 
bluey. I'm like, all right, 7 yeah. p.m. We're gonna all numb out for an hour. I did. Hey, like, where's I do your like, dad? I like, <laughs> I, like, I'm a, I, I like bluey. I think I've seen every bluey. I know. Yeah. So have I. Like there was a time where we were like no YouTube in the fucking house, uh, and then well, oh, you so, lost your way, dude. After you lost kids YouTube, you lost your no, way. Well, they're, <laughs> they're on real YouTube. Well, then I guess, kids are on real. No. They're on the fucking juice. They're right in the vein, dude. I get my, my kid's still on kid YouTube. That's why she's still a kid. Well, I can think your boys, your well, boys, uh, might as well be outside smoking well, cigarettes right now. They're on real fucking YouTube. Oh yeah, they're they're watching some shit. Like my uh, my yeah, youngest, they've seen it. They've my, seen the my war. youngest came in white face. He's like, I saw something I shouldn't have seen. I'm like, don't tell your mom. Like, because I downloaded YouTube because of fucking NFL package. And then I was on the TV. What so, did they see? Yeah. I don't know. I don't know. He did ask. He's like, like shelving away. Compartmentalize. Compartmentalize. Yeah, yeah, put it, yeah, like, put it in your container. Drunk. Put it in your container. And, Shoot it into but, the moon. But, but this, this is how I rationalize it. I'm like, I saw some shit when I was eight that I shouldn't have uh, seen. Like yeah. my dad. And, and, now, and now you shave yourself <laughs> down and maybe all your, yeah. your fucking balls. No, I ride my bike to my buddy's house. He showed me a fucking house. Slur magazine, oh, yeah. traumatized. Yeah, yeah. Like you know, sometimes you need to go through that. I shit. found a picture of a girl <laughs> with red pubes. Like, I found a picture of a girl with red pubes pissing. So, oh nice. In my, it was a fold out centerfold, well, and I, I, I was so scarred. I was like, this can't be sex. This okay. is, it's, this is disgusting. So I rode my BMX bike down the road to a, a grate, a sewer grate, and I tore it into a million pieces. And I stuffed it down in there. Because <laughs> I thought that would break the curse. <laughs> so, you're, you're a smart guy. You know, it's like back in you know, human evolution. Like there was a shit ton of kids being traumatized by murder all the time. Like there was, uh, yeah. like they were the like, strong ones. Their parents Families were, were dying. killed, and then the guy that killed you the know, family would bring the, the the kid along and make him the new warrior. They used to see sh shit all the time, the horrible shit. Like even you, I mean, you go ancient human, like you fucking, you had a rough life in the fucking woods, yeah. you know. But like so, uh, I think our like human brains can uh, handle it. Like I it's not gonna ruin them forever. No, and they, you no, know, no. and they need. And I'm worried about them growing up too soft. I would like, agree. You know, that all of a sudden they're you know 12, 14 years old, and they never really had any. Crazy trauma, you know. Like we have a stable life. Yeah. You know, there's, I know it sounds they have regular YouTube. Yeah. To ready them. <laughs> they have regular standard YouTube. I need someone to show them yeah, something quick. traumatic. Yeah. Get in there. Watch some people. Watch the Darwin Awards. That'll prepare you. Watch these people. I, I somehow that's on Live my leak. that's on my like algorithm. Is people dying? I don't know. How that I know, happens. dude. It's everybody right now. Everyone's getting the death videos. But no, I mean, it's like, I don't know. It, but then it's. I, Maybe we'll have more social, well-adjusted people if everyone's not, like, just, like, blankly traumatized with a huge part of their lizard brain just activating to just, like, destroy people to get love. Or, like, <laughs> yeah, you're right. right. That's yeah, good, yeah. but, it, yeah, I mean, they'll, they'll get it. Yeah, you don't want to, like... I, I would just, personally, this is my advice, is just focus on them being as nice as possible. Yeah, while also, for they dudes, are. it's... I have girls, though. For dudes, it's, like, build some grit. The chores and yard work, obviously. You have the Florida heat. I would... Definitely dog them out in the Florida They're heat. Swedish. <laughs> Mulch the garden. They're Swedish boys. Yeah. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm not kidding you. They're they Swedish boys. The they can't go in the heat. <laughs> Your wife is Swedish. She can if she goes in the heat. Oh, yeah. One father, second of heat. She, she rode the bike. She they're they're right. They're they're exercising. She rode the bike here. What on Tuesday? She right. came in from like a thirty minute ride, and she's as red as like they're they're the whitest. I got burnt at Disney World. And then I'm like, well, how tough do they have to be? It's not Mad Max outside. Yeah. <laughs> like, we, you know, so yeah. it's fine. fine. But if it is Mad Max, <laughs> they're fucked. <fine. laughs> you could titrate the adversity, and if they they're going to see crazy stuff on like that's just got, like oh, especially yeah. with dude. Imagine. The, yeah, the word of mouth when we were kids is like, yo, I heard about porn. And you'd be like, whoa. There's going to be kids that are just going to be like poof, hitting each other with the yeah. wildest visuals. Yeah. It was a tale. God, like yeah. mine in my middle school was Jenny put a hot dog up her pussy. <laughs> yep, yep. You know, everybody had the hot dog girl and uh -huh. the fork girl. Yep. Yeah, yeah. That's it, and did you? And that was as. And then you can yeah. now you can search it and yeah, see. Yeah. And you can see it. You can 60, see like yeah. you can sixty see like, men now. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, if I saw that when I was young, I'd be like, oh shit! Like, 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 my imagination, I thought was bad, but the reality was real bad. Matt, thanks so much Dude, for coming thank in. Thank you guys, yeah, man. I appreciate you being here. You guys are man. awesome. Get your tickets, uh, Orlando.funnybone.com. Two shows tonight. Two shows tomorrow. Uh, I'm gonna try to. Uh, my my daughter has a dance competition tomorrow, but. She uh, dances in the morning. Uh, Dude, I think, I think I'm going to try to slide out. Yeah, Let yeah, me yeah. know. I'll, okay. I'll, I'll come you guys. Yeah, I appreciate that. No, I'm, you, uh, not needed, but I'll definitely slide through. Yeah, yeah, that, yeah. I appreciate that. Thank and you. I'm sure all our listeners know Matt and Shane's secret podcast. Uh, make sure to listen to that. Yes. Uh, Matt, thanks so much. Thank you, guys. Appreciate you, man. Awesome. And guys, thank you. we will see you on the main show. Awesome. Thank you.